Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. May the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. My beloved ones, today is 17th day of February, being Wednesday, and this Wednesday, Ash Wednesday, the beginning of the Lenten period in the church calendar. I read this will be coming from Prophet Joel, chapter 2, verse 12 to 18. A response sound will come from Psalm 51, verse 3a. A second reading will come from 2 Corinthians chapter 5, verse 20 to chapter 6, verse 2. Our gospel message will come from Matthew gospel chapter 6, verse 1 to 6, and 16 to 18. As the length is standing, God is giving us the code of conduct for this lengthy period. How we are going to carry out the rent and be successful. And this is a Organizing God that way is giving us the code now how to go about it. First of all, Prophet Joel told us today that the code, calling people, say, return to God with your whole heart. A part of the code. Every person should return to God with his whole heart. He's a merciful God. He's slow to anger. He's not interested in your sin. He's interested in your repentance. He repents about the evil things easily. That why he's asking you to come back to him now. And for the that's what every person one of us is expected to do. And for the priest of God, they're supposed to cry and weep between the vegetables and the altar. Weeping and crying to God. And upon God to show mercy to his people. Let the people you inherited not punish them. And he said. Why should they be a byword among nations? Why should people ask them where is their God? And what the priest is supposed to be part of the priest. And it's part of the rule of the priest to call the assembly, the congregation, sanctify the fasted. People should weep and fast, tear their hearts, not their garments. So that's the code where every person of us have to key into this period of fasting. You have prophesied on this. And when the priest begin to Pray for the people, God thought we have pity on them lately. And if people begin to fast on their own sincerely with their whole heart, God will answer their prayers. So the code of conduct is every person is called, even children, elders, even infants are called to fast, to weep and change their way of life and come back to God. And that's why today Jesus was telling his disciples about this lengthy period. Make sure you don't go about the strength you are piety like the other people in the public for people to see you. No. He said, when you give arms this time around, which is one of the obligation code of the conduct of the that you give arms to people. When you are giving with your left hand, let the right hand not know. So the God who sees in secret will reward you. But if you do it for people, you have got your reward. If you are praying, don't pray like the Pharisees, like a hip, hypocrites who want to stand in synagogue and street so that people will see them at their prayer warriors. No. Enter your room, close your door, and pray to God, your Father who sees in secret, and will answer your prayer in secret. And when you are fasting, don't disfigure your face so that people will know you are fasting. Like when you are fasting, anoint your head, wash your face, so that no person will fast. Only your father who sees in secret will know you are fasting and reward you. So for this ready period to be effective, the code of conduct for you this time is that you don't do anything for sure. You must do everything in secret, in the depths of your life, and to your God and no other person. And that's why today another code of conduct is that God has called off all of us as ambassadors. That God has called us to be ambassadors. We should join God this period to go about telling people, be reconciled to God. We're his ambassadors, calling people reconciled to God. 
you should reconcile to this God who had become made a sinner because of the sinful people. He has no sin, but he has made a, made a sinner because of our sake. And he, he did this so that we can become righteous. So that we can walk with God. So he's calling all of us to come back to him. Let the grace of God in your life not be in vain. This is the period of grace. And that's why I said, at the acceptable time, I listened to you. In the door of salvation. And this is the proper time now for acceptance. This is the proper time for salvation. The lengthy period. Set aside, 40 days set aside, purposely to reconcile yourself with God. So the code of conduct you must follow to be able to achieve this purpose. Be ambassador of reconciliation. Do everything in secret to, so that your father who sees secret will reward you. Your hands giving, your prayer, your fasting. Return to your God who is a merciful God. Let the bridegroom leave his rooms and let the brides leave their chambers. So God is calling all of us back to this. And that's the basis of lengthy period. It's not a period to talk about sinning. Not the period of doing evil. Not the period of thinking evil. Not the period of associating with the devotees. It's a period of purification and sanctification. You must drop everything that is evil in you within this period. And the code of conduct given to you will guide you effectively to attain this purpose. See yourself as ambassador of reconciliation. See yourself doing everything for the glory of God. See yourself trusting the merciful God and coming back to him with your whole heart. And now what the Samuel who understood this so well, they say, have mercy on no Lord, for we have sinned. Admit your sinful nature and repent. And God give us the strength this lengthy period to go by the code of conduct given to us by God and adhere to them strictly and attain the purpose of this land and its result. We ask this through Christ our Lord. May the blessings of Almighty God be upon all of us. I will celebrate this lengthy period beginning with today, Ash Wednesday. Of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit.